Hey, it's Brigzar, and today we're going to look at a vintage Lego train set. This is one of the early 12 volt trains. It sits 7725, the electric passenger train. It's just a basic, generic red passenger train. Uh, it's a very, very simple build. There's not a lot to it. It has the black 12 volt motor, it has sticker sheet. It came with a circle of track. I got it on my 12 volt layout here with an oval, but it, it was just a circle that you got with it. And uh, only one minifigure, this little uh, train guy we got here next to me. So that's all you get with it. Uh, very simple, generic Lego train set, but still a cool 12 volt train. So let's look at what you get with it. All right, here's your train engineer, the only minifigure this that comes in the set. I think they could have done a little bit better, just maybe put four, at least four minifigures in here. You got seats for the passengers. I don't know why they didn't uh, do that, but this is the only minifigure you get, and he's the engineer. Now, there's no back printing, so no point in showing that. It's just the generic standard grin. 1981, that's all you got was the standard smiley face. Right, here's the front engine. This is the one with the motor. You can tell because it's got the, the rubber wheels there. Now, it you get a bunch of stickers with this set. The only stickers you put on are these like this on the door and the front. But you can change it um, to all kinds of different railroads. they got different railroads and logos here. Here's what's left on the sticker sheet. So uh, you could pick any of the different logos and you use it. Um, I bought this used and already had, they already used the uh, the DB logo, which is very common. I might have picked one of these other ones. There's some cool ones there. Those on the bottom, the one with the wings, that looks pretty good. cool. The NSB, even this one here is cool. But So you can um, change it up. So I got all the rest of those unused stickers there. And then the manual, it does give you... Uh, let me go back here to the back of it, I guess is where I can show you. It has an alternate build with a train platform and everything. You can build different car, train platform. Um, oh, here it is. There's the pitch. So you can build this little train here. That's the alternate model. Most of these trains uh, from that time period did come with two... Um, versions that you could build. Now the roof, they did make the roof where it's easy to pop off. Um, it's got the pantographs there on the roof. Uh, just standard plate built pantographs. But not a lot in the front car. Just the seat with the control panel for the um, engineer. So he would go in there. And these bricks here that had the open studs on them, those are actually the weights. You have the weight on there so it'll help the train have traction. So you need those weights. I'll put the engineer in there. So he's ready to drive. So there's no other room for anything else. They didn't put any other details in there. <laughs> just ve like I said at the beginning, this thing's just very plain and generic. I like the look of it. I like having the red windows and the red doors. So now let's look at the next car. The middle passenger car. Um, take the roof off it. Nothing going on in there. You got four seats, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Would have been nice if they gave us a couple of minifigures to put in there. Um, and the last car is similar to the engine, except it doesn't have the weights. It does have the control panel, but this one, since it doesn't have the weights, it has seats. So again, we could have had another minifigure or two to go there, but we did not. So, you know what, I think I built this wrong. <sighs> Let me look at my instructions. Yep, I built it wrong. Uh, it's typical. Uh, you see it's got the two plus sign comp computer panels there, and on this one it's got the two computers, so I need to change those out. It should have been one of each. So oh. there you go, that's what it's technically supposed to be like. One of each on each side there. So yeah, not a lot of details to this thing. They could have put more details in it. 
but uh, I could have given us some more minifigures. But hey, it's 1981. I think it's pretty good. There's actually some trains that have come out more recently that aren't nearly as awesome as this. So anyway, I like it. So this train only came with an oval, I mean a circle, not an oval like I got here. But uh, I've already got it set up this way, so we're going to do our little test run of it. And got my transformer on here. I forget which way's forward. That's backwards. That's forward. And that's really at a slow speed. It's already going pretty fast. You can make this thing derail if you go too fast. I'll go faster. See, that's way too fast. Slow it down a little bit. I like that clicking sound it makes. So thanks for watching this review of the LEGO Electric Passenger Train set 7725, a vintage LEGO train from 1981. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my train playlist. I will have reviewed almost a hundred trains probably by the end of March. I'm at around 68 or so at the time of the filming of this one. So. Um, I'm just going to keep reviewing trains all through the month of March 2014. If you're watching this later, then be sure to check out that playlist. Thanks for watching. Sprigzar.